There are billions of habitable planets in our galaxy alone. There's a bit of fear because now you're out there dealing with something that you have no idea what it is. NASA has made an exciting and potentially groundbreaking discovery in the search for alien life. Discovery of a new exoplanet has astronomers excited that it could be indeed signs of life. This comes at the same time as breakthrough discoveries on UFOs after whistleblowers came out at a recent US Congress hearing and Mexican Congress showcasing alleged alien remains. Multi-decade uh, UAP crash retrieval and reverse engineering program. So if those are actual mummified aliens who shared the data, with other laboratories. What was this discovery on that exoplanet? How is it connected to the UFO sightings on Earth? Could this planet be the home world for the alleged aliens that have been hovering over us with their UFOs? He saw five distinct lights in a triangular pattern. On flying saucers, do you yourself believe that they exist? Well, I'm positive they exist. The weight of the evidence uh, makes it impossible to arrive at any other conclusion. Join us to find out what led NASA to conclude that this exoplanet may be harboring alien life. Considering many past and recent UFO sightings and alien claims, especially a concentration of UFO sightings in some regions such as Hiroshima, Nagasaki and Fukushima, and in active war zones in the Middle East, UFO claims have once again become the center of attention. Demonstrated no enigmatic technical capabilities and was no threat to airborne safety. While we are still looking at it, I don't have any more data other than that. People have been reporting and investing UFO cases for almost a century. But it's getting more serious after a recent website regarding UFOs was launched by the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office. With declassified information on UFOs, it's going to include photos and videos. It highlights the importance of the program to the department and the fact that it has the deputy secretary's full attention. This all came after a Congress hearing in the U.S., where former workers indicated the existence of projects linked to UFOs, retrieval of their technology, attempts to reverse engineering it, as well as the existence of the DNA of non-human biologics at an undisclosed location. Government connection to what UFOs were. The secret UFO program inside the Department of Defense. Former military pilots also told about their experiences stating that they had encounters stretching way back and emphasizing the infamous Tic Tac UFO from 2004. And we saw this little white Tic Tac looking object and it's just kind of moving above the whitewater area. Mexico wants to work with other countries to dig into the matter and they're openly discussing a UFO law. The Pentagon has been investigating UFO encounters for a long time and ex-personnel have shared their experiences dating back to the 1960s. Their representatives have acknowledged unexplained UFO encounters, or UAP as they call them. But both NASA and the Pentagon are consistently saying that they don't believe that any encounters with UFOs in the past 80 years involved aliens. The NASA independent study team did not find any evidence that UAP have an extraterrestrial origin. They go as far as they can to point to other countries' spy drones or absurd things like weather balloons. Chinese spy balloons. New images of the Chinese spy balloon. That alleged Chinese spy balloon. Chinese spy balloon. Chinese spy balloon. Admittedly, some of the encounters do fall in this category. But after recent events and the discovery of Super-Earth, there is growing skepticism about their claims. Over the past 30 years, thousands of exoplanets have been spotted beyond our solar system, with some falling into the category of Super-Earth's mini-Neptunes or sub-Neptunes. These planets vary in composition, ranging from predominantly rocky to ice giants with hydrogen-rich atmospheres. Conservative estimates suggest that the observable universe may hold as many as 5.3 trillion habitable worlds. Not all of these may support life as we know it, but they could be home to life forms different from what we're familiar with. To be considered a candidate for Earth-like life, a planet should be in the habitable zone of its star, not a gas giant, and have a size conductive to life typically 0.5 times to 2 times the mass of Earth. The other promising planets are Kepler-186f and some other Kepler-named planets. 
186F is located 490 light years away, within the habitable zone of its star. It is just 10% larger than Earth and a part of the Kepler 186 system, orbiting a red dwarf star. Gliese 667 CF and Gliese 667 CE are part of a triple star system. They are located 22.1 light years away, and both planets fall within their star's habitable zone. They are different from Earth in the sense that they have triple sunsets. This is an exciting moment for astronomers thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, a $10 billion observatory. James Webb Space Telescope has hardly opened its eyes, and the universe is new. And what's very important is the analysis of new planets looking into their atmospheric composition. Some of the previously discovered planets even have oceans and hydrogen-rich atmospheres that could host life conditions similar to Earth. However, we can't say for sure if they are habitable, because we don't know the exact temperature of the water layer among other intricacies. This discovery made by NASA has made a significant advancement in the search for alien life by spotting signs of a gas linked to living organisms on a distant exoplanet known as K2-18b. This super-Earth, over eight times larger than our planet and located some 120 light-years away, is found within the habitable zone of a cool dwarf star in the Leo constellation. Scientists believe that K2-18b belongs to a category of exoplanets known as Hycean worlds, characterized by hydrogen-rich atmospheres and water-filled oceans. K2-18b, besides being classified as a super-Earth, is also considered a sub-Neptune planet. Sub-Neptunes, unlike planets in our solar system, are characterized by a smaller radius than Neptune. Their atmospheres remain a subject of debate due to their remoteness from Earth. K2-18b's large size, with a radius 2.6 times that of Earth, also suggests the existence of an ice mantle like on Neptune. So, there are a few key things that would make K2-18b habitable. First, you need air to breathe, so the planet has to have enough oxygen. This requires trees and other plants to perform photosynthesis. Next up is water. It can come from underground reservoirs, like wells, or you can melt ice if it's a frozen world. Most planets are too hot or too cold for us or any other living being. You want a planet with a comfortable temperature range. There also needs to be food or some other source of nutrients, and a way to harness energy. The size of this planet means it has a much stronger gravitational field than Earth. This would mean that alleged aliens sighted are unlikely to be from that planet. According to most witnesses, aliens look tall, skinny, and physically weak. But creatures from a planet with multiple times the gravity of Earth would be short, bulky, and incredibly strong, considering the amount of g-force they experience throughout their lives. So, could those Nazca mummies shown in the Mexican Congress hearing potentially hail from this planet? They are shorter but not bulky. However, they possess extremely rare metals that are found only in trace amounts on Earth, such as osmium, which is one of the densest elements, which can theoretically compensate for the lack of bulkiness of their bones if it's present within their skeletal tissue in the right amount. These metals would be in abundance on a planet with stronger gravity and higher pressure. Niku Madhuzudan, the lead author of the Exoplanet Research and a professor at the University of Cambridge, expressed astonishment at the prospect of life existing on a distant exoplanet. He said that this discovery marks a significant advancement in exoplanetary science, especially in the ability to detect carbon-based molecules on low-mass exoplanets within the habitable zone. Even if a small subset of those solutions lie in the liquid water regime, that is already telling you that there is a potential. The new technology allows astronomers to identify the unique spectral signatures left behind by gases in the atmosphere. What has particularly excited astronomers is the detection of dimethyl sulfide in the atmosphere. DMS is a complex molecule composed of carbon, hydrogen, and sulfur atoms, and on Earth it's exclusively produced by living organisms, primarily phytoplankton in marine environments. DMS is unique to life on Earth. Besides natural processes, there's no other known occurrence that produces this molecule. 
It's a promising biosignature for habitable exoplanets like Hycean worlds. The atmosphere of K218b also contains substantial amounts of carbon dioxide and methane, suggesting that the planet may be habitable or possibly already inhabited. The planet, a bit smaller than Neptune, has been found to potentially have oceans and atmosphere with carbon dioxide. These planets offer exciting possibilities, but our best bet for the second planet would still be Mars, due to the challenges of interstellar travel and the need for specialized technology we don't have. But this doesn't mean that other extraterrestrial civilizations don't have the technology to explore other worlds, including ours. Which is what is potentially happening right now. So, do you think that someone might have visited us already? What do you think about the discovery of this planet? Could it mean that we have unknown neighbors? Comment down below. Also, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell.